Hello siblings, welcome back to my channel. Today I am actually going to be remodeling my entire room. I am so excited. And we are at Bed Bath & Beyond right now because they are the sponsor of today's video. So thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. If you guys are moving soon, want to remodel your room, or going into a dorm for college, then Bed Bath & Beyond has pretty much everything you're gonna need. So let's just go inside and shop around. As you can see by all the signs that Bed Bath & Beyond is doing a campus ready campaign and they have this really cool thing called pack and hold where you can shop at a store near you, pick out everything you want and then they will ship it to a store near your college so you don't even have to worry about shipping it, packing it, anything. They'll do it for you. They also provide a campus ready checklist so you can either download a pre-made one or answer a few questions and they'll provide one that is customized for you. It's going to list everything you need to bring to school plus a little extra so you can have some fun. Now we're gonna go back home and I actually ordered all my stuff online and I'll open all the packages and start redecorating my room. So first I'm just going to open up all of my packages, show you guys what I got from Bed Bath & Beyond and then we'll go ahead and start remodeling my room. Oh, One of the first things I got is this Amazon Alexa. I am so excited because I've been needing a portable speaker for so long and Bed Bath & Beyond hooked me up. <laughs> Okay, here we go, Bed Bath & Beyond haul. I got this super freaking cute, like, boho chic little stool that is just like a cute decoration. I also just got some cute little vanity organizers. My makeup is kind of all over the place and it has no real home. This one to add to it. Just a cute little drawer thing because the one I have right now is really cheap and does not look good. I also got this four drawer storage container. And then this was pretty essential for me, is just a shoe organizer. Bed Bath & Beyond also has a wide range of product assortments for you. They carry stylish, innovative products made specifically for campus living in a range of prices. So you have options for any budget and customers can shop our assortment in the following categories. Fashion and basic bedding, entree and decor for college living and dorm rooms, bath, kitchen, storage and organization, cleaning and laundry, small space furniture, tech, NCAA, personalized slash Greek life. Now, if you can't tell, my room is actually a disaster, so I'm going to clean it up and then show you guys what my bedroom looks like now. Then we'll get started redoing it and I'll show you what it looks like after. So this is a quick little overview of what my room looks like right now. So first we have my wood wall that looks really bad. It's my cat wall also. And then we have this random stereo system with random decorations. And then my bed with no bed frame. Then we go up and we have my Polaroid wall slash decoration wall. I don't know what's going on with this wall. I have this huge light, this really ugly desk type thing. It looks so unorganized. And that's pretty much it for my room right now. If you haven't heard, Bed Bath & Beyond has a program called Beyond Plus. You get 20% off your entire purchase every time you shop and free standard shipping for the whole year. And it's only $29 a year. So if you're buying everything you need for your dorm anyway, you may as well join this and save some money. So clearly my room needs a lot of help. Let's just start remodeling it. First I'm starting in my least favorite corner of my room. The stereo is connected to speakers connected through the wall. Later I'm going to build a bed frame, but I know that I want my bed to face this direction, so down just help me move it. And now I have a million things to build, so let's start building. This is the result of my cute vanity organizers. Just got back from the store and got a few just like cute little things like little plants and hooks and throw blankets and stuff and some food because I'm hungry. The rest of my Bed Bath & Beyond packages came in so haul part two. Here we go. Also my cat peed on my bed so everything's in the wash. I got this really cute like throw rug and I'll show all of it out of the packaging as well. This giant box is a desk so we'll see when it's together. And this is a bookshelf so let's get to putting more things together. <laughs> 
That desk took way longer than it should, so go me though, I actually put it together. Now I'm going to start on the bookshelf cabinet thing, and I'm going to be putting it right over there where my giant tapestry was. It kind of felt a little bit not like my room vibe anymore so i took it down and i'm going to put the bookshelf there so and now another 45 minutes let's go <laughs> to being done it's starting to look so good i'm actually really really happy with it and just in time another thing came in from bed bath and beyond it's the perfect addition to any room is a cute little throw blanket wait what it's like different color grays <gasps> that's so cute i can just cuddle up in it it's blankets like these that remind me of just like a nice chilly morning and you just throw it on and throw on your slippers and walk upstairs so I have this cute little basket and I just keep adding more blankets to it and that one literally just makes it look so like boho and aesthetic. I like the last thing I have to do is to build my bed frame which I'm building with some pallets. So I'm going to measure my bed and then go build that. <laughs> so hard in my room it is finally the way that I like it and let's just go outside welcome to my brand new room tour so first just give a quick little pan so here's this wall and that corner that I hated and my bed and then my new desk and everything and let's start from the beginning so you walk in to the store and then you see my talon robe so this wall was already a wood wall as I showed before but I installed this bookshelf, which is great for like, you know, books. And then Ace loves sitting on this little thing. And I got this. I was going to add like string to it and make it like a cute little decoration, but I'm lazy, so I didn't. And then we have the cat's litter. I thought about making this into like a litter box type thing, but I don't think I have my dad sold. I'm like cutting this up, so we'll see about that. This is where I keep all the cat stuff, so it's not very aesthetic, but whatever. This is my YouTube plaque, first passing sir, sur, sur, <laughs> surpassing, surpassing 100,000 subscribers, and this is like the old version, like they have newer kinds now, you can see how long I've been on YouTube, and then we have like the cat area, so I have this cute little waterfall for him, and then this was supposed to protect his food from flying everywhere, but he's too messy, so I also added this cute little like, boho thing that's like short enough that he can still eat over it. This is his thing he scratches all the time. And then we have the cute little cat tree. Okay, so let me go into this corner. Now this is the corner that I said I hated the most, but I now kind of love it the most. So we have this cute little shoe rack bookshelf. I have way too many shoes, so this was exactly what I needed. Also, all the plants you see right now are fake, but I actually am going to buy a bunch of real ones and put them everywhere and yes I am getting ones that are pet friendly so my cat doesn't die. But then I have this moon thing still here and the picture still here but I added this shelf. The shelf's a little high but it's too much work to fix so I'm not going to. And then I have this cute little basket of just throw blankets. I'll definitely be using this in the winter. Right now it's like 100 degrees in my room so that's not happening. Then we have my bed. I am so proud of my bed. I love my bed. Everything about my bed is everything I ever wanted in a bed. So. I concluded that I'm now an adult because I don't want my bed on the floor. It's been on the floor since I was like in sixth grade. On the floor or hanging from the ceiling. So typical teenage thing. But I actually built it myself. So if you look down here, these are pallets that we got literally from a dumpster. And then this backdrop is literally just one pallet. And we nailed them all together. It was actually way harder than you think. But if you want a DIY free bed, there you go. And I just have like, you know, cute little pillows. This is actually from Dallin, How to Train Your Dragon, the girl one. 
Um, they never named her in the movie, so that's awkward, but it's fine. Then we have just like random decorations up here. I'd like to turn this into more of a Polaroid wall or maybe that wall over there, but I don't have that many Polaroids and my Polaroid camera broke, so I just need to get a new one. Then I have this cute little moon thing. Okay, so then we have this little hanger thing for my backpacks because my cat will like sit on them if they're on the ground, so I had to hang them. And then I have this cute rug. I'm loving the rugs. I have three rugs right now. One, two, and three. Then we come this way. And this is all still the same. I kind of like this. It doesn't really match the theme in the room anymore, but I still think they're cute. And my room has no lighting, so this is like necessary, even though it gets really, really hot. It's whatever, sometimes you gotta sacrifice. I keep forgetting to breathe. So then we have this organizer. And I kind of just have everything that was in my crappy desk in this. And yeah, it's just more organized. Then we have my really cute desk. I love this desk so much. I've been looking for like a cute boho wood vintage looking desk because I hated the desk I had before. I hated that crappy thing I had. And now I love this. And it took me like an hour to put together. So I extra love it. Then I have this really cute stool, which I was going to use this as decor next to my bed. But now I actually sit on it. Sometimes I have to sit on it with a pillow because I'm short and it's a really small stool. This is the corner we do not speak of, we're moving on. No. That's where my trash goes and all that. <laughs> so then we have my mirror. Not much has changed about this area. I just cleaned it up a bit and added a rug so it's really cute. But yeah, no, nothing really changed with that, so. So this is after remodeling my room. It is now more of like my dream room because it's like a boho, like modern boho type vibe, which is what I was really going for. Comment down below if you guys have redone your room recently or something, I don't know, I just wanted you guys to comment something down below. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.